What's going on, YouTube nights? Welcome to another edition of Letters from the Long Box, where Mikey Sutton and myself will answer your viewer mailbag questions that I have right here on my phone. You know what? I should probably make it look more professional and actually print them out and read them like letters, like uh, like maybe a uh, uh, you know. David Letterman top 10 or some one of those things, you know, use a prop, but I'm too lazy for that. So let's get right to it, boys and girls. This is the weekly video that drops every Sunday now, uh, where uh, Mikey Sutton and myself will answer any questions you have about the MCU, DCU, TV shows, movies, that good stuff, sometimes the Star Wars stuff. Uh, we post this video every Sunday, and then we... Uh, if you want the video post, leave your question below, and if we use it, we'll use it for our next Sunday's video, and you'll get a Marvel No Prize. Uh, so first of all, I want to thank everybody for uh, supporting the Lords of Longbox and Mikey Sutton, uh, especially you uh, subscribers on YouTube. We hit 5,000 subs uh, last Thursday when uh, Darkside Jedi and I went live for an auction, and we, we were looking at the subscriber count, and we went live as we were, uh, excuse me, we hit 5,000 as we were going live. That is cool. Uh, and uh, to thank you, our friends at Cover Price is going to be giving away f three one-year free full memberships. I will leave a link in the description below on how you can enter. You just need to be subscribed to Lords of Longbox. Click on that little button. Boom. Automatically puts you in. Our friends from Cover Price will do the drawing. And we'll, uh, I think you have till uh, September 2nd. So uh, please make sure you subscribe to Lords and hit that and you'll get three uh, subscriptions to coverprice.com the cover price top 10 video we do every tuesday um myself and the rest of the lords as well as krs comics uh geeky swag shop rocket comics uh, comics tunes and toys will be doing a separate giveaway to give you guys some cool toys some comic books and some other really cool stuff to thank you guys for supporting us all this time to getting us back to 5,000 subs in just a little bit over a year we relaunched the channel in august 6 and we hit uh, 5,000 subs last Thursday. So it was uh, 53 weeks to the day of relaunch where I did my first video on August 6, complaining that YouTube has shut me down. But let's get right to it, boys and girls. You know how we do it. These are the questions uh, that we got from Lords of Longbox video. So let's get right to it. <clears throat> let's see. Old Fat Boy 57 O, <laughs> I think I'm saying that right, uh, asks With all the speculation around Shia LaBeouf in the MCU, which character is he likely to play? Is it Wolverine, Iceman, or Moon Knight? Yes, there was some uh, rumors floating around last week. I guess Shia LaBeouf was going to be in talks to play somebody. Um, Mikey's response is, he isn't up for any role in the MCU. At least right now, that could possibly change, but doubtful. So anything is possible. So whatever rumors about Shia LaBeouf playing Iceman, I don't think that's going to happen. Shia LaBeouf is 34 years old, but he looks like he's 44. Four years old. He does. He does not age well at all. Iceman has always historically been a younger character. Bo young Bobby Drake has always been young. I just don't think Shia LaBeouf looks young enough to play him. I think Marvel has a track record of getting younger actors, even if you you know are at least lesser known actors, but definitely younger looking actors. If you think about you know Robert Downey Jr. looks young for his age, but you know obviously he's up there now. But nothing as far as Shia LaBeouf for right now. So we shall see. Uh, that boy Steve asks. People always ask about Hugh Jackman coming back, but I want him. I and I want him back too. But what I really want to know is, could we see Sir Patrick Stewart return as Professor X? Uh, Mikey's response is, I am told that is unlikely at this point. So there you go. He's probably done playing the character and uh, talk about old oh, Patrick Stewart's old. But you know what? He still looks great. Still acts great. You know what? Can't even tell he's 107 years old. Uh, this coming from our friend from down under. Conchetto de Amico. Thanks for the no prize. You're welcome, buddy. Tivo and Mikey, Marvel is going Marvel is going to go cosmic. Is there any word on the big bad? Has null been mentioned? Thanks and stay safe. Thank you. Uh per my scoop, uh Mikey's response is per my scoop from months ago, Galactus and Doctor Doom will be the first two big bads. One in space, one on Earth. Kang will be arriving before then, but nothing on null yet. Yeah, I think uh we've been talking about how. They're going to be doing Secret Wars, and I think it's going to be involving uh, Doom controlling a lot of, I believe, Europe. And then we talked about, of course, Galactus and that storyline and how he's going to be the ultimate big baddie. In between there, you can see Annihilation Wave and Kang and some other things, but nothing on Null yet. Uh, the closest thing to Null, which isn't really even close, is uh, on a long-term spec list we did a few weeks ago, uh, Gore the God Butcher was on that long-term spec list. So Jason Aaron, yes. Donny Cates, 
Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the question, buddy. Ryan Montgomery asks, Hey now, Mikey and TiVo. What's good, my friends? Have <laughs> What's good, my friends? Have at Longbox. That's an interesting question. Uh, word. All right. We, we copy these verbatim, so sometimes <laughs> the punctuation isn't, or grammatically, is not correct. Uh, any truth to new rumors? Shia LaBeouf playing Iceman. Uh, once again, none whatsoever. Cyclops, Wolverine, Professor X will be cast before Iceman. So there you go. Here's the thing. Uh, back to the Shia LaBeouf as Iceman thing. If you don't know, Iceman has come out as being gay in the comics. Uh, I think Marvel and their whole thing about diversity and inclus inclusivity, inclusiveness, whatever, um, they would cast an openly gay actor for Iceman. That's just my guess. You know what I mean? So we shall see. But yeah. Uh, Will Wang asks, will Korvac ever be in the MCU? The Korvac saga is one of our favorites. Mine too. Uh, excellent, excellent run in the Avengers. This would be a fantastic cosmic storyline that could involve the Avengers, Captain Marvel, and the original Guardians of the Galaxy team. Awesome. I like that. I actually, you know what's interesting is, uh, do you guys remember the, the Avengers animated series? I think it was on, before Moved to Disney Plus, I think it was on the Cartoon Network, one of them. They actually covered the Korvac saga. It was pretty awesome, man. That, that first animated series was pretty incredible before it moved to Disney, uh, the Disney proper channel. Uh, Mikey's response is heavily speculated, but I haven't heard anything about Korvac. He's a deep cut that many fans aren't even familiar with, so I'm doubting you will see him anytime soon. Well, that sucks. There goes my first appearance of Korvac. Still a great book to get. Great storyline as well. All right. Ah, our friend from Canada, Kickstarter Comics, asks, has Mikey heard anything about Wonder Girl in regards to the future of the franchise, i.e. Amazon spinoff? Uh, when he said, i.e. Amazon spinoff, there was supposedly a, a spinoff called Amazon's um, that was going to be based on the Amazon Warriors of Themyscira. I don't know whatever happened to that, but uh, who knows? Maybe it'll announce it at Fandom. But anyway, uh, Mikey's question is, they've been thinking of ways to expand the Wonder Woman film franchise. I felt Wonder Girl was used well on the Titans live action TV series, but I haven't heard of any other projects regarding the character. That will most likely change. So there you go. Sorry, guys. I need a drink. Your boy got... A little tan for the weekend. Um, so we shall see. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry about that, man. Um, I'm. If you don't know, I think most of the country knows it is hot as heck outside, man. It is. Uh, yesterday was a good hundred degrees here in Orange County, man. But uh, I, <laughs> I made the mistake of me and my lady chilling out by the pool for a good three or four hours. So. Uh, Got a little burn, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to build that foundation to get a nice little tan going on, hide the bags under my eyes. You know, at 50 years old, it's hard to uh, hide these bags. But uh, <laughs> I, I, yesterday, I spent all day. We came back from the pool. We was just chilling at home. I drank so much water and Gatorade, just hydrating. And uh, it feel good today. But today has been a chillaxing day. I ain't, doing, I ain't stepping outside for a damn thing. It is way too hot outside, man. It is too hot. All right. So, yeah. Uh, but regards to one of them, I, she was one of my favorite characters on the Titans series uh badass gorgeous looks absolutely sexy in that outfit what i can what i'm concerned about well i think we'll cover it probably coming up in the, very soon but jim lee already alluded to it that the dc universe shows are going to be swallowed up into hbo max not surprising to anybody at all as soon as the announcement of hbo max came we knew that dc universe was on its last legs jim lee just confirmed in an interview the other day um that the dc universe shows I guess Titans is it. I mean, you know, Doom Patrol already went over to HBO Max. But whatever was on DC Universe is going to be over on HBO Max. So there you go. Uh, rest in peace, DC Universe. Uh, you never had a chance, to be honest with you. Um, they The price pointing and then all the other streaming services that, the, on, that its own company was running, it was just a matter of time. It was very niche in its inception though because if you think about it even marvel doesn't have a streaming just for their marvel stuff it's you know it's disney so you have marvel star wars and all the disney stuff where the dc universe is very specific this is dc universe stuff but it doesn't make sense to make uh your customers pay for multiple streaming platforms put them all in one place make it easy right okay that's what i say all right but thank you for your question uh thank you excited comics uh next question is from sassy pants i like saying that sassy pants is there a chance Warner Brothers are trying to develop a Teen Titans movie or any characters from the Teen Titans series slash comics? 
Warner, Mikey says, greenlit the Titan show for DC Universe because the movie side had no plans. But the X Factor here is Wonder Girl. Keep an eye on that character. If Wonder Woman 84 is a mammoth hit, I'd be shocked if Wonder Girl doesn't follow in the cinema. We were just talking about it. Stay tuned to the Lords in case something changes. So, uh, yeah, that just means that uh, we're going to have a scoop. Speaking of scoops, August 21st is going to be huge, huge scoop jam in conjunction with the five, the Lords hitting 5,000 subs. Mikey Sutton's new site uh, dropping called Gigosity. The launch is August 21st. And in honor of the launch or part of the marketing push of the launch of the Gigosity website, um, we will be doing a scoop jam with our friends over at the Cosmic Wonder, and it's going to be huge. You're going to notice some books that have been on recent top tens. Maybe this is why, because finally we got some news that they're, you know, what DC and Marvel are starting to find out is when comic characters hit or comic books hit and they're really hot, that let's strike while the iron is hot. Let's make a develop something for TV or movies with it. When Punchline came out a few months later, we actually got a long-term scoop that they were developing Punchline for the big screen, not even the small screen. So pay attention. I, I got a hold of the scoop yesterday, and there's a very interesting stuff in there. So August 21st, I'll be dropping a scoop jam with the uh, in conjunction with our friends over at the Cosmic Wonder. So that should be fun. Till then, make sure you subscribe. Hit that uh, link down below to subscribe or to enter the 5,000 subs giveaway to get a free one-year subscription to coverprice.com. Almost forgot it. How can I forget it, my guys? Uh, see you Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific when we go live with the Cover Price Top 11. The only Top 11 in comic books anywhere ever in history. All right, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Till next time, peace.